Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Weller. Welcome to my kitchen. Hey, I have a couple of questions for you. Do you ever feel stressed or worried or confused? Do you ever wonder why your body has such a hard time calming down after your emotions get really big and out of control? You do? Great, because that's what I'm talking about today. So why don't you grab a snack, pull up a chair, and join me for today's lesson. I like to start my lessons with an activity that focuses your attention and gets your brain ready to learn something new. Now, I usually use a Zenergy chime, but I left my chime at school, so I'm improvising by using some items that I have found in my kitchen. So today, we'll be using this mixing bowl and a rubber spatula. Your eyes and your brain are very closely connected. So whatever you point your eyes at, your brain is automatically going to start thinking about. Right now, I want you to see if you can get your brain to start thinking about the sound that this bowl is going to make when I tap it with the spatula. In order to do that, you are going to either look directly at the bowl or you could close your eyes to take away the distraction from your eyes and let your ears and your brain do most of the work. When you do not hear any sound coming from the bowl anymore, I want you to give me a very silent thumbs up. Are you ready? Okay, let's do this. Nice job. So it feels like school's been out for a while now, and I am really, really missing my students. While we're apart, I'm counting on my puppet friends here to help me with some lessons. So this is Kevin. He's having kind of a rough day. It started out okay. He got up and got busy with doing some assignments for school. And then he came to a math paper that he didn't understand. And Kevin didn't really want people to think that he didn't get it. So he just pretended to work. But the more he looked through the problems on the page, the more overwhelmed he became. His heart began thumping and his stomach got really upset. He didn't know how to do any of this. He just crumpled up his paper and he threw it on the ground. I don't know about you, but I can totally understand how Kevin was feeling. You know that nervous, scared, worried feeling that you get sometimes when you have to go someplace that you've never been before or you have to do something that you don't know if you're gonna be able to do or when you have to adjust to some unexpected plans. I love learning about the brain and teaching kids about the brain. So let's talk about what happens inside your brain when you're feeling stressed or nervous or worried. Take a look. See this green part right here? This is the part of your brain that is right behind your forehead. 
It's called your prefrontal cortex. Sometimes we call it the PFC for short. This is the part of your brain that is responsible for all the thinking, the learning, the problem solving and decision making that happens during the day. It's a really important part of your brain. It's the part that Kevin was using when he was doing his schoolwork earlier today. Now there's another really important part and that's this orange little circle down here, deep, deep inside your brain. It's way deep down. It's called the amygdala. Now your amygdala is the control center part of your brain. It's responsible for controlling your emotions like fear and anger and worry. All of those emotions are processed here in your amygdala. To make a model of your brain with your hand, you do it like this. Put your thumb on the inside and then cover it with the rest of your fingers. This forms the prefrontal cortex of your brain. Remember, that's the part right behind your forehead. Do you remember what this part does? You're right. This is where the thinking and the problem solving happens. This part of your brain acts like a wise owl. You need him to help with solving math problems, but also for those video game challenges or when you and your friends aren't getting along and you're trying to figure out how to fix it and make it right. All that problem solving comes from your PFC, your prefrontal cortex, the wise owl part of your brain. This part of your brain is your amygdala. It's way deep down in the center of your brain. Your amygdala acts like the guard dog part of your brain. So this is actually a fox, but we're gonna make believe it's a guard dog because that's what came in the package. So let's roll with it. This is the guard dog part of your brain. I'm going to call him Miggy, short for amygdala. So Miggy's job is to keep me safe. So all day long, he's on the lookout, sniffing around, watching out for danger. If Miggy senses danger, he's going to alert me. How does a guard dog warn somebody of danger? You're right. He would bark or growl, and that's what Miggy does. But I don't actually hear the barking in my brain. I can feel a change in my emotions. I go from feeling calm to feeling nervous or stressed or frustrated or worried or scared. That's all coming from my amygdala. When Miggy senses danger and begins to bark, he scares the owl and it flies away. My body gets ready to respond by doing one of three things. One thing my body might do is get ready to fight by hitting or kicking or yelling or throwing things. Another thing my body might do would be to run away or escape the dangerous situation. And the third way my body might respond to the danger is by shutting down or freezing and staying very still and very quiet until the danger passes. And that's all because of Miggy the amygdala, the guard dog part of my brain. Sometimes Miggy gets mixed up. And if Miggy starts barking and there's no real danger and my wise owl flies away, then I'm stuck not having any idea how to solve a simple problem because the part of my brain that does all the problem solving is turned off. I've got no wise owl. What am I supposed to do? And that's what happened to our friend Kevin. His guard dog got all mixed up. 
he mistook a math problem as something dangerous and scared away his wise owl. When Kevin didn't know what to do, he got very upset very quickly and ended up crumpling up his math paper and throwing it on the ground. Hmm, which probably wasn't the best choice. But here's the good news. You can train the guard dog part of your brain. Now you don't want him to never bark because remember, his job is to keep you safe. But you do want him to know the difference between something that's really dangerous and something that's difficult. Kevin is going to help me demonstrate a calming activity called Rock a Pet. So for this activity, you'll need a stuffed animal. Place the stuffed animal on your belly like this. You breathe in, inflate your belly with air like you are filling a balloon. Then exhale all of the air out. Breathe in and breathe out. As you breathe, your belly moves up and down, gently rocking your pet to sleep. Calm down, buddy. It's going to be okay. As your pet relaxes on your belly, your brain becomes calm and relaxed too. It's really important to take some time every day to train your brain with some breathing and some relaxation exercises. That way, your wise owl will stick around to solve problems when you need them. I'll be collecting more breathing and relaxation exercises to share with you later, so be on the lookout for those. I hope you'll come back again for another lesson in my kitchen. I'll see you next time. Bye. What's cooking in the kitchen for?